Hi guys, this is Raul Fernandez over here and in this tutorial we will be trying to make these edge wear effects that we can do in ZBrush but instead of doing it in ZBrush we will be trying to do it in Paint for doing that we will be using this sample sphere that Painter has so let's start we are going to make a material to simulate clay and be able to visualize better this that's where we will create another material where we are going to add this edge wear. Okay, this one is something that is going to be only in the high map and it's going to be downwards. Okay, so now we're going to add a black mask and a fill layer. And a fill layer in this black mask. After that, I think we are going to be working with the curvature map. I think it's a good start. Let's visualize the mask, the mask to see what we got here. After that, we are going to add that a level so we can keep only the white. We can add now another filter with the blur slope. And now we got something. This is something we can start to work to work with. Okay, so let's play a little bit with this and let's see what we got up to now. So if I go to the material, we got this. It's not a bad start but we need to smooth it a little bit these edges and also to add a bit more of brushes or this you know this effect okay so for doing that let's back to see the mask and let's play a little bit with this Now we can add another another blur, so we can soft it just a little bit. And let's lower the intensity a little bit of this one. Let's try to add now an, another blue slope. Okay. now we got uh, this edge wear on the previous edge wear which is looking a bit better now but still doesn't look like zbrush so we still need to figure out how to soften these edges but only the edges not the blue part so just a blur won't work here so let's start trying other filters and let's see which one could work we can try bevel let's see with the material much better so a bevel and we're rounded and a bit smooth and it kind of looks like edgeware now so we only need now to put this material into a folder and mask that folder so to paint only where we want this edgeware edge okay it's kind of like zbrush and it saves a lot of time so if you want to make this in zbrush and then 
bake it into low poly to have it here in, in, in Sustan Painting take, takes a few times, right? Let's try to put it a little bit deeper. And also to play a bit with the color of the object in, in the background to have a better view of this edge wear. 